We spent Christmas in Mexico and it was awesome. We stayed at this all-inclusive, family-friendly resort. I booked everything separately because my parents also joined us. So we got our flights and Canada jet lines. I booked a private transfer. And upon check-in, it was pretty standard. You got your welcome drink. You got really in that relaxing mood with a golf cart to the resort room. Now, I had booked an eco-family superior room for the kids and I. And my parents are supposed to be in the adults-only section. But... Christmas miracle, we got upgraded to this fantastic luxury villa where we were all able to stay under one roof. So as you can see here, there is the living room with a day bed. We also got a pullout bed ordered in for Akira to stay because the kids didn't want to share. But upstairs, we had this amazing patio just for ourselves and it was connected to one of the two bedrooms. Upstairs is where Chris and I stayed. And as you can see on the left hand side, that's our room. And on the right hand side, I'm showing you my parents' bedroom, which was connected to the living room downstairs. Both bedrooms had their own bathrooms and the kids would just come in to whichever one they wanted. Now, the main reason for staying at this resort is because it is very eco-focused. They have implemented so many sustainability initiatives and you're in a jungle, so we saw animals all day long. From spider monkeys to coyotes to turtles, you name it, we saw it here and it was awesome. This was just everyday life here. There is a kids club for those 10 and under and Apollo just went in once, to be honest. It was mainly for this activity where the whole family joined in where they could feed the animals who live on the farm there. So this was just a really nice way to kick off our first day. We got to play with bunny rabbits and donkeys and pigs. There are lounge areas everywhere. So that's what the kids did mostly. They just lounge around the resort. They didn't actually go to the kids club or the teen lounge all that much because they just wanted to be outdoors. And you know what? Couldn't blame them. The weather was fantastic during our stay. So Sandon's Caracol is a resort that has a Santa day in it. So you can go in, get the life jackets and jump right in here. They had slots open in the morning and in the afternoon. So we did that. But the main reason that we booked this three-star resort is for the water park, okay? They had slides and sections for the toddlers, but they also had some really fun slide for the older kids. So we went here every single day. There was a little snack section here so kids could get some drinks and eats and just spend all morning, all afternoon, whatever they wanted right here. But we also love the pool bar. So every day we'd go from the water park to the pool bar. There were a couple other pools, but the pool bar is where we ended up mostly. The kids also really liked the sports lounge as is Chris and my dad. So they'd play ping pong and foosball and snooker here. Let's chat about the food because the food reviews weren't good before we booked this. And I can tell you that having been here, the food was mediocre, but we still gained weight while we were here. So you know what? There's always tacos to be enjoyed. And that's what we did for lunchtime. We just went to the beach bar that had tacos. But for breakfast, we did the buffet. The lineup was never that long because we like to sleep in. So by the time we got there close to closing, there was still plenty of food and we could custom our dishes the way we wanted to with no issues. They were really good at asking us about allergies. And this resort has what you're looking right now at these dishes. These are the a la carte restaurants. To book them can be a bit tedious. They have an app that works sometimes, doesn't work sometimes, but you can eventually just walk up and try to get your bookings. Now, if you booked with a member, then you have special Royal Elite benefits. That's not what we did, sadly, but if we ever go back, that's what I would do because that way you have a personal concierge who'd book all the stuff for you. As you can see here, guys, the a la carte restaurants were nice. Was the food amazing? Not really, but some of them were really fun. Like, obviously, the teppanyaki restaurant was very popular. It was fun. And I recommend the Brazilian restaurant and the Japanese restaurant if you get to book a la carte options. Now, um, I wish we went back to the Mexican restaurant because they were only open for dinner and unfortunately we had a la carte every night. But the first night we had it and that buffet was fantastic. Um, we had tacos from the taco truck during mid-afternoon snack. And there are so many activities, guys. This is the focus. It wasn't the food. So as you can see here, planted tree. That's one of the activities that the kids took part in and also an eco initiative on the resort. We also did the Jade River Swim, which was kind of a bring your own snorkels and swim in this little river where sometimes you get to see the fish. Unfortunately, during our visit, we didn't really see much, but it was still an activity that was included as part of your stay on the resort. 
Another activity my mom and I did, because nobody else wanted to join us, was a sensory experience where we got to be blindfolded and we were guided along in the jungle. This was private. We were the only two ones doing it. And it was unique and heartwarming with a really nice message in the end. You have to do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. For adults, there was also a romantic boat ride. So Chris and I took part in this one where there's a glass of bubbly and some treats as someone rode us along. Very peaceful, got to see some turtles. And while we were doing that, the kids were making noise. They were playing tennis. Again, another free activity that you can enjoy. Every night there were shows. I wasn't a huge fan of the outdoor shows because you had to turn up early to get a seat. By the time we had dinner and came, most of the outdoor shows were packed and we couldn't really see much. But we did enjoy some amazing shows in their theater. They have a fantastic indoor theater. The seating was comfortable. There's a bar you can get drinks at. I loved the Coco and Beauty and the Beast one. And highly recommend anything in here the outdoor shows they were great too but honestly we just didn't get the full enjoyment because we were so late to arrive and couldn't really see much of the stage area we enjoyed our time here we drank a lot of drinks i custom made stuff i would go to the juice bar to get my drinks and then get them to add stuff at the bar so that it was the way i liked it the beach area was lovely. Now it's a bit rocky because this is an eco resort. So you know what? You want to see fish and snorkel? You can do it because the corals are right there by this resort. If you love sunrises, well, this is a great place to enjoy them. Each morning, get up, go watch the sunrise. And you know what? There are little cabanas and beds that you can get for free. Like you don't need to book them at this resort. Turn up and take one. Please do not drop your towels there and disappear for the whole day. Use it as you want and let everybody else enjoy too. That's my little PSA. Now, if you wanted to continue down the beach and you want a little sandy area, I recommend just going out of the resort, turning left and walking towards the Fives. We've stayed at the Fives and we love that resort. Amazing food, but the activities at Sandoz were more plentiful. I will say that. As you can see here, Walking along the beach, I got dragged into uh, this pedicure situation. First time trying it, very different. I did it for about two minutes and I had to get out. Let's talk about bracelets. This resort has so many different bracelets. The gold ones are for the adults only select side. So that gives you access to some other adults only sections like this pool and breakfast area. The kids couldn't join us, but Chris and I enjoyed breakfast here. We went to the select club where we could get drinks without waiting in line. And of course, there was always snacks in there as well. But there's still other stuff to do. If you did not get the gold band, that's okay. Because Sandoz Caracol has so much on offer for everybody staying here. There's a gym and spa on site, but there were so many activities here that we actually did not have time to check those out. Come here for the activities and you also have access to their sister property. You have to take your own taxi, but I hear their beach is amazing. But again, I didn't have time, guys. Six days, we were busy here. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option, this three-star resort is fantastic. If you're focused on activities, this is the place to be. Just don't come with a five-star expectation. The workers and stuff are amazing here, but it's not a five-star experience when it comes to food. So remember that, and you'll have an amazing time.